What is going on, y'all? Travis here, and in this one today, we will be kicking off Season 5 of Glee. Super excited. Can't wait to see what kind of shenanigans they come up with in this one. Uh, let's jump into it. Season 5, Episode 1. Oh, she got it? I gotta meet a gang of people at my mother's saloon. You wanna come? It's a party for me, honest. Thank you, Rachel. That was lovely. That's it? All we needed to see. It was a pleasure reading with you. And I loved you as Lancelot. I saw the revival of Camelot three times. Oh, douche. Douche. Oh, Paolo, you're a Tony winner. What do you think? She certainly looks right for the part. I just fear that she's too young is my concern as well. She made a discovery, but it's such a risk. Part, it's a mountain. At her rate, I never could have pulled it off. Claire Danes. Yesterday. Ooh. I'm so far away. They're here to stay. Suddenly. Came suddenly. The color on her. Why he for yesterday? Ooh. Big. Not the big bubble. He would I like the restrained stay. vocal. be one of my favorite Rachel Berry songs, to be honest. I loved that. Oh. Oh, we're gonna do a whole Beatles episode, maybe? I don't think we've ever spent two weeks on an assignment, Mr. Shu. We need two weeks to do them justice. This week is all about the early years of the Beatles. A belief in each other, and a belief that together, they could do anything. Or wasting two whole weeks on a band from the 1940s, and anyone still relate to the Beatles? Pretty much the entire world. Yeah, I can definitely <laughs> still relate. Were the Beatles dyslexic and catfished by transsexual? When George Harrison was a kid, he was made fun of because his dad was a bus driver. I don't really know the Beatles. I'm a little on the black side. Star was a sickly <laughs> little kid, which probably means he was sitting down a lot and you guys are really got to challenge yourselves bring your a-plus game perform these classic Dude, songs Sam's in hair is so ways. long we can win back-to-back -back national championships and form a new directions dynasty y'all gonna need a few more people though and speaking of your chariot awaits we are moving slower than jonah hill trying to get out of bathtub and everyone is staring at our hotness Oh you my know, God. I never thanked you for making me come clean with my mom. I'm going to the Brooklyn Film Academy because of you. To thank you, I want to take you to Red Sticks. We both know that the raw animal attraction between us is undeniable. Lima needs no to open Tina up a new up restaurant. And Brittany and Sugar and the girl in the wheelchair with the disturbingly massive boobs. I hate Red Sticks. Well, there's a carnival in town that could be fun. I'm going to trust your life to toothless carnies who operate the rides. So is that a yes or no? Bar in Ohio, so. Thanks. Ooh, they sound good. Artie sounds good as fuck. I love how Artie is like singing his face off. She's like talking. <laughs> yes. Hey, kitty cat. You crashed into me head on. I swear you could have paralyzed me. My bad. I'm Grace, called with Teeth, not like the funky cheese. You two were so cute, all snuggly and cuddled up in that teeny tiny car. Are you two going out? Just friends. You look really sweet together. I took a couple of pictures and Instagrammed it. I feel like she'd anyway, be a fake. Have fun. Fake, fake. She seems nice. She's a stone cold bitch and she's out to destroy me. Uh. Okay, you and me, we're more than just friends. We go out, but we do it on the down low. You know, like secretly gay conservatives do. It'll make everything all fun and forbidden. So you like me, but you don't want to be seen with me. I need status at the school to survive. Lame. Hottie. This was a mistake. I basically had to show Gunther my left side boob to get you this job. Here, put this on. Well, I really appreciate you freely prostituting yourself for me. That was before and I totally blew my funny girl chemistry for you. Oh, sorry, Gunther. Is that her? This is her, Rachel. Hi. Don't tell me if you're Jewish or black. <laughs> Listen, if you want to get to Broadway, you have to pay your dues. <gasps> I guess that's true. This is the Spotlight Diner. And plus, my dad's will pay my rent till I die. And I don't want that anymore because I want to be making it on my own. We're basically working actresses. So you excited to go back to school? Fashion week is coming up. But this farewell picnic's been perfect, though. What's the story with this New York guy? There's no story. 
he was nice, and people liked the idea of us as a couple. Never got serious. All right, the last time we tried dating, you cheated on me. All right, unacceptable. We've been through this. I thought you were done with me. Those pants. I thought it was over. I, I thought cannot. I was completely out of the picture in your life. I will never, ever, ever cheat on you again. I'm gonna need you to sign one of those non-cheating contracts. I will sign whatever you want. Just please say that you and I can be boyfriends again. What? I don't know if relationships actually were. Were Bethany and Jason supposed to be forever? For every Bethany and Jason, there is Will and a Jada. And well, Lisa. Will and Jade. Are Will and Jada still together? I know she had but I'm some. Goldie, of course. What did of she course, call yeah. it? Entanglement. Okay, I can't believe we're gonna do this again. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say yes, which is why I sort of um, put something together to try to convince you to stay a little longer. I'm not sitting down and, and listening to you sing to me anymore. Which is why I prepared something. I was alone when I took a ride there. Then I suddenly see you every single day. Got to get you in the thing. Woo. I like the marching band Ooh. aspect. I can't with Kurt's outfit, bro. I, to get you into I didn't know what I would find there. Where'd the marching band go? They just disappeared. They were there one minute and gone the next. <laughs> America, that was silly. Your prayers have been answered. Sue Sylvester is back at McKinley. The school begged me to return. I had to come back big time. Welcome back, Coach Sylvester. Come on, as espresso principal, espresso Sylvester. Suit. What? I broke into Figgins office and planted incriminating evidence. Oh, Miss Roberts. What's going on? I think you have a few things in your What's desk. You may want to share with us. Gambling receipts. She's not We're gonna be here for He's a while. He's not allowed to gamble. Gay porno mags. Ah, it's not mine. That's puppy I'm porn. I'm telling you, it's not mine. Charge every Sunday. Polygamous marriage certificate and oh autographed God. copy of Mein Kampf. I'm innocent. What am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Well, Superintendent Harris, I have to say, I'm truly humbled. We're in a pinch here, Coach, and you're a proven champion. You've led the school before as infant principal. If all goes well, I see no reason why this position shouldn't become permanent. Oh, Do hell. I feel guilty about what I did? Jesus said it best. The end justifies the means. You're the monster, Sue Sylvester! Oh, hell. Here I stand, head in hand. That's an ugly ass shirt, too. Y'all are stressing me out with the fashion choices. Kind of sound like Quinn. See them laugh at me. Hey! Hide your love away. You've got to hide your love. <laughs> to hide your hey, you go away. Rude. I don't know if I love them. Okay, listen up, everybody. Blaine has a very special announcement. So as most of you know, Kurt and I are officially back together. But what most That's of you don't know, know, and this is top secret, is that I'm going to ask Kurt to marry me. Yeah, guys, come on, get up, come on, guys. Gay marriage, good, it's good things. They're all happening so fast, let's go. Sam, not now. I want this proposal to be just incredible. So uh... I'm asking for your help. Like the Warblers and Vocal Adrenaline and the Haverbrook School for the Deaf. Good God, have you lost your okay, mind? Tina. Oh, man. Everybody, hear him out. Look, I want this to be more than just an ordinary proposal, a cultural statement. You're 12. Okay. Our Stop. generation is at a turning point. People everywhere are beginning to see that it doesn't matter who you are or they're beginning to see that people really aren't all that different. If we can get a bunch of cutthroat okay. show choirs to stand so side with by this side hair. and unite in something, then anything is possible. Blaine is just using the world of rival into... glee clubs as a metaphor. This incredible time we're in right now. And I still think you're too young. Yes. Where are you running to Tell exactly? Oh, okay. Won't you be Okay. <laughs> I love them. Oh! We need an official vote in the spirit of brotherhood and cleaning up our tarnished reputation. I think we'd all be happy to help. We said I'd do the talking. All in favor of helping Blaine? Aye. Okay, I see you, Sebastian. Sebastian. Artie, we've been friends for a long time, so I'm just gonna ask, are you and Kitty an item? No. Lies. I mean, yes, I mean, maybe. I'm unclear. We're not really supposed to talk yes, about it. Yes, I knew it! Why? Why can't you? Lower your voice, Tina. 
Because Kitty's uncomfortable with people knowing she's dating. Who's in a wheelchair, who's in Glee Club. Where's your self-respect? I know you're trying to help, like, think you are, so I'm gonna say thank you, but butt the hell's out. Oh! All right, Dutch burger and your salad. Enjoy. Oh my God, you were not gonna believe this text I just got from Blake. I'm gonna be sitting in my section. Oh. I'll take this. Okay, so we have one Roxy, one Velma, inside and Billy Flynn's. Yes, it's me. Yes, it's awkward, but I don't care. I am a professional. That's a colon. I spot a colon. I am a star. Yes, I am a star. Rachel, look. Everyone thinks they're a star. Look around. They all want to be on Broadway. I'm not saying you're not a star, Rachel. Just saying, I'm not sure just yet. I understand. Was he the one in the first scene? I guess I'll just have to prove it to you then. I didn't even realize that was him. It's been a hard day's night sleeping like a lot and I'm home. Those two sound good together. Have they really done anything together? Just the two of them? Let's get out of here. Wait, after all of that? There's something special we need to do. What? I don't know what you're so nervous about. She's not going after the Cheerios. Bitch, please. Sue Sylvester's <laughs> hanging out with me since day one. <laughs> I just know she's dug up all kind of dirt on me. What kind of dirt? Number one, this bronze damn Olympic medal may have been the result of some performance enhancing drugs. Number two, I may have perpetrated a buttload of credit card fraud. And I might have just stole my Lexus off a of used car lot. Yeah. Okay. We're both screwed. Sue's gonna take out the Glee Club and the Cheerios. Oh, now why on earth would I do something like that? But you are vindictive and petty. I have been given the post of interim principal at this school, allowing me to demolish this office down to the studs, ridding it once and for all of the deep ethnic musk that is Figgins Hallmark. And to achieve that, I need the programs at the school to be successful. You're, you're not firing us? Not if you win a national championship, I'm not. You fail to win at nationals, I will fire you. Oh my you god. You have to go back to being a folks model for Billy D. Williams' yellow hair helmets for women who couldn't possibly be less blonde. Congratulations. <laughs> you're on my watch now. Which means you're winners. Okay guys, week one of our Beatles Fest has been epic. But now I want to turn to their oft-ignored middle period. Would you say that the early Beatles looked out for each other even when they didn't want to be looked out for? Yes, the early Beatles always had each other's backs. I'm sorry, Artie, but this is for your own good. Everyone, Kitty and Artie are dating, but Kitty's making Artie hide it because she's embarrassed by him, and I think that's emotional abuse. Eat up! For once we agree. It's true. Arthur and I are dating. Officially? Not that it's anyone's business, especially not yours, Tina Cohen agitator. I did want to keep it hush-hush. Because you were ashamed. Yes, memoirs of a lame geisha. Because I occupy a certain place in the McKinley hierarchy. And before exploding said hierarchy, declaring my undying love for someone who is not my usual body type, I wanted to be sure. Of what? That I really, really liked him. And that I would be willing to risk not just my social standing, but also getting hurt by letting him wheel into my heart. I do like you, Artie. I don't know. Look, asking you to keep our stuff private wasn't cool, and I'm sorry. It's okay, kid. But as far as, like, updating my Facebook status... Yes. We are officially, publicly, shockingly, a thing. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Do any of you know I called you in here? Is it to get prepared in case the North Koreans evade through Mexico? One of our own has turned into a mean and angry person. Tina. Tina. Yeah, that'd be Tina. She didn't used to be like this, but it's time for us to step in. She's falling apart. I walked by the Too Young To Be Bitter Club meeting this morning, and she was the only one in there. Too young to be cakes bitter? are truly awesome. Oh, oh, I'm so totally. totally. Guys, this isn't about the cakes. I know how good they are. I've had them too. This of course. Blaine, even though this is all clearly your fault, you know, whatever you think we should do, we're in. Oh my god. Oh, settling in nicely then, are we? You're not gonna get away with this, so. Well, I believe I already have. I would say you are lucky to have a job at all. You had better be nice to Donna, my long-term secretary. Well, I'm afraid Donna isn't long for this world. I plan on installing Becky as my secretary, and I will refer to her as my Becretary. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Well, that's just a five-gallon bucket of expired grade D meat slurry. Now, what would you like me to do with this canister of rancid horse offal? No, please, no. <laughs> She's so damn evil. 
Pick it up and throw it at her. Why did you make me wear this? I had to break out one of the Grease costumes. We love you, and this is for you. Four! She was just that mean. Well, luck when I cross that. Makes a snack. Snack. Yes. Okay, you do. Calm down. Calm down. Pretty cool set. That was awesome. I don't understand what it was for. Well, we saw how lonely you've been lately. Since we're the only single guys left in Glee Club. By single, we mean single prom dates. Yeah, so you can pick one, and it's your choice. Obviously, I'm excluded. Well, hard to pick. Ryder has arms and Blaine is my boo. I think I'll go with Sam. He's the least gay and least Asian of all of you, and I'm looking to change my pattern. Thank you guys. I really gay needed this. Least Asian. And Ryder's more gay and more Asian. Look, I uh, know he's kind of gay. Sometimes. The airport, sometimes. But somebody told me about the shortcut through the back roads. I know you're driving me to my surprise Her. proposal. I should have known you knew. You okay? You look like I'm driving you to your execution. I can't tell. I mean, I really love Blaine. He makes me feel so connected, safe, and loved. I don't think I'm ever gonna find someone else who's gonna make me feel like that. We're both so young. Right. Your mom and I met when we were 22, and I asked her to marry me six months in. We were just kids. Yeah, at 22. Really first. You go in with all these fantasies of what your life together is gonna be like, laughing and dancing around in your underwear. Sex, a lot of sex. It's hard being married, though. It's hard enough being in your 20s. Do you wish you'd waited? Not one second more. I wish I met her 10 years earlier. I didn't know then that she was going to leave us so soon. I'd take 50 more years of late night fights about me working late or her letting the milk go bad for just 10 more minutes with her next to me. We only get a few days when you come down to it, Kurt. You know that better than anyone. Look, totally being honest here, Blaine asked me what I thought about this, and I gave him my opinion. Which was? My opinion doesn't matter here. But giving you a choice means you gotta make one. So relax, hear what the guy has to say. I mean, all you gotta do is say yes, no, or maybe. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. That can't this be outfit, play the game. I actually kind of love it. It's oh. no one you can Nothing you can do is love. All you need is all you need. Mercedes you looks that isn't good. Known. That isn't shown. It's easy. All you need is love. Is all you need. Love. Need is love. I love mean, is all you need. this is pretty awesome. He loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. We met right here. I took this man's hand and we ran down that hallway. <laughs> I think that my soul knew something that. My body and my mind didn't know yet. It knew that our hands were meant to hold each other fearlessly, which is why it's never really felt like I've been getting to know you. It's always felt like I was remembering you from something. As That's if in it. every lifetime that you and I have ever lived, we've chosen to come back and find each other and fall in love all over again, over and over, for all eternity. And I just feel so lucky that I found you so soon in this lifetime. All I want to do, all I've ever wanted to do, I spend my life loving you, Kurt Hummel, my amazing friend, my one true love. Will you marry me? In 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like so conflicted because the song, the song and the set and the scene and everything and the choreography and the outfit, like it was fire. It was gorgeous. I was like moved by it, but it's so fucking ridiculous. Like I go, okay. So Kurt, I guess is like old enough. He's kind of been doing the college thing for a little bit. It is what it is. Blaine, your ass ain't got a job. You still live at home. You haven't even graduated high school yet. Is he even a senior? He's only a, so a junior, isn't he? I don't know. It's hard to remember and follow. Do a promise ring. Ask him to prom. Make a big gesture to go to fucking breadsticks. I don't know, but not, the, not damn marriage. I can't with the marriage. I just can't. Not at this age. 
It's too much. I did I did overall though really enjoy this episode. If I'm being honest, I don't I'm not a huge fan of the Beatles. I don't really love the Beatles like that, but they made me like, you know, these songs. I loved Rachel's opening performance. I loved the way she sounded on that. I really enjoyed uh Blaine's thing there. I really enjoyed Sam and um and Blaine Artie and Kitty like all of them were really really cool and I did enjoy their versions of the songs I thought that was a pretty cool uh opening episode I'm excited to see what shenanigans we get into with this season let me know what y'all thought about this one and I will see you on the next one bye